Hey everyone, this is Andy from Checkout Page. I'm really excited to share our latest release with you. What we've done is we've made it much easier for people who sell digital products online to sell different versions or different bundles of their files all from the same checkout page. So let's take a look at this example I've put together. It's for a training course and you can see that there are different bundles of files that your customer can choose from and check out for. And also at the top, we have a free sample that you could use as a lead magnet. On this uh, test checkout page, let's Let's just grab that free sample. I'll put my details in here and I'll download that file. And when we go through to the, uh, the test submission, you can see that I have access now to the first chapter of the PDF and I can download that file directly from here. So that's what your customers would see. So let's go back and at this time, I'll check out for the ebook and audiobook bundle of this training course. So again, I'll put my details in and I'll use the test card details and I'll check out. Now you can see that the test payment has been confirmed and I have access to the ebook and the audiobook. So you can see that you can easily sell different versions of your files or different bundles of your files all from the same checkout. So let's jump back and I'm gonna walk you through how you can put all this together yourself in just a couple of minutes without any code. Okay, so now I'm back in my dashboard. First thing I'm gonna do is create a page. Let's call this online training course. I'm gonna make this a one-time payment and I'm gonna give it a price of $99. And I'm gonna choose the center line checkout page for this example. Here we go. First need to add some files, then create some variants. And then I need to attach those files to the variant. So let's go to files and I'm gonna upload my files. But I have some files here, the ebook, the audio book, the video and that re-chapter. So let's upload my files and I can see the name, the type, the size, and you'll see this label here that says available to all customers. And what that's showing you is that right now, uh, if somebody checks out from this checkout page, those files will be available to all your customers because none of them are currently attached to any variants. So now that I've uploaded the files, let's jump over to variants and we'll create some variants. So the first variant I'm going to create is just called bundles, create an option for the free sample, ebook only, ebook and audiobook, and the, the ebook, uh, audiobook and video. And let's add some images in here to make this look nice. And let's give these some prices. So this one is say $200 down from $300, 300 from 400, 500 down from 600. And the free sample is free. So let's attach the files. This one is the free chapter. This one is the ebook only. This one is the ebook and the audiobook. This one is all three of the files, the ebook, the audiobook, and the movie file. Click save. I'm going to see our checkout page updated um, with those product variants. There you go, looking great. So if you remember when we first created the checkout page, we gave it a price of $99, but we don't want that anymore. We just wanna use the prices in the product variants. So I'm gonna go back to details and I'm gonna get rid of that price. So I'm gonna make a test payment and I'm gonna grab that free sample. So I'll just put my um, name in here, email address, and there you go. I've made a test submission and I have access to the free chapter and I can download it uh, directly from here. Let me make another test payment here and I'm gonna get this bundle. I'm gonna make a payment. Here we go. I now have access to the ebook, the audiobook, and the video files. Now, if I don't want the list of files here, I can choose to show this instead as just a download button. And that button is gonna take your customer over to the customer portal and they can download their files from there. So the last thing I wanna bring up is what to do if you wanna stop selling a product. Go back to variants. So I can come in here and I can disable the option. I click save and I'll see that the checkout page is updated. And now this bundle is no longer for sale. But importantly, this still exists in a kind of archive state, which means customers who previously bought that bundle will still have access to those files. Okay, thanks a lot. That's it for this new release. Uh, we're really excited to see how everyone's gonna make use of this new functionality to sell different versions of their files or create bundles of their files all in the same checkout page. And if you have feedback on this new functionality, please just reach out and send us a message. Uh, send us an email. We're always, you know, we're always online. You can always get in touch with us. All right, thanks a lot. Bye-bye.